yes good morning so coming to fourth unit of dst uh, through vhdl that is the design of sequential ciphers here the slide shows what are the different topics we are going to discuss in this unit as per the jntu anantapur so the different uh, topics here are the analysis of sequential circuit state table state diagram state representation in vhdl timing in sequential circuits so that synchronous operation and asynchronous operations using sequential circuit as a shift register its vhdl representation using shift register techniques performing multiplication and division operations and uh, also we are going to see the design of synchronous and asynchronous counters also their vhdl representations frequency division using counters and finally some applications of the sequential circuits so these are the topics we are going to discuss so already in previous session sessions we observed or we discussed that uh the digital circuits totally divided into two categories named as combinational circuits and sequential circuits so now what is meant by sequential circuit so the sequential circuit is a digital circuit here the output is a function of current inputs and also previous state so such a circuit is referred as the sequential circuit okay now uh, but the, the, in the with reference to sequential circuit here we are going to see some definitions like what is meant by state what is meant by state okay state means with reference to binary uh, it may be either uh, logical value 0 or logical value 1 okay suppose if you take a flip flop if you flip flop the output is the output is either 0 or 1 0 means usually referred as reset state 1 rep represents the set state okay so in order to represent the characteristics of a sequential circuit generally uh, three different modes we have those are state and output equations representation state diagram representation and state table representation first of all let us see how how to prepare the output equations of a sequential circuit so for, with reference to that here we have taken one uh, uh, diagram a sequential circuit including two d flip flops two d flip flops along with some combinational circuitry is there and with one input that is x and one output y and also a clock signal so these are the different uh, uh, units you can observe in the given uh, circuit diagram okay so from this the outputs of each flip flop the output of each flip flop represents the state the output of each flip flop represents the state okay so here we have two flip flops one with the output q1 and another one with the output q2 okay so the present output or current output of q1 and q2 are represented as q1 of n and q2 of n that is the meaning of the present state okay so this circuit gives a two bit uh, state representation a two bit state okay uh, and one output that is y one output that is y okay uh, so with this with this okay so what is meant by q2 of n plus 1 q2 of n plus 1 is the next state what is the next state equation so that is the state uh, equation that is the state equation of flip flop uh, one d flip flop and q1 of n plus 1 is the state equation of the another flip flop okay and y represents uh, the output equation the output equation so coming to uh, q2 of n plus 1 q2 of n plus 1 is 
u to of 1 plus 1 is in case of d flip flop you know the output is uh, follows the d input the output follows the d input when proper clock is available when proper clock signal is available the output of d flip flop is equal to the input that is here with reference to this d flip flop q2 equal to d u2 equal to d but what is d here what is d d is the output of this r gate the output of this r gate let us see the equation of d input with reference to this that is q2 uh, q2 bar of okay here uh, what do you call okay for with reference to q2 of uh, n plus 1 q2 of n plus 1 what we have <coughs> see here so with reference to first and gate first and gate what is the product term realized by first and gate q2 and uh, another uh, input is q1 bar okay q2 q2 of n q2 of n q1 bar of n q1 bar of n this is the product term from this and gate and what is the product term by the lower and gate q2 bar q2 bar into q1 in okay q2 bar of n q2 bar of n q1 of n and what is the third input third input is the x third input is the x so that is the product term realized by the second end so sum of these two product terms sum of these two product terms is the d input right clear so if you observe here q2 of n plus 1 is what is the next state of first d flip flop is with this input that is sum of two product terms each product term with their current inputs q2 of n q2 bar of n like that q1 of n q1 bar of n are the present state uh, values of the d flip flop 1 and d flip flop 2 okay they act as input for all these AND gates and the output of AND gate acts as the uh, input for the R gate and the output of R gate is considered as the D input so that you can uh, uh, derive the equations of, of uh, uh, next state in both the flip flops case q2 of n plus 1 and q1 of n plus 1 like this and the y output is y output is from this again x into uh, q2 of n q1 of n right so that is the y equation and from this diagram from this diagram we derive these state and output equations first two are the state equations and the uh, last one is the output equation okay so the operation or uh, the characteristic of this circuit we represented through this state and uh, output equations okay and uh, another way how it is represented that is the characteristics of sequential circuit can be represented using the truth table uh, sorry not truth table of course this is the truth table of a sequential circuit equal to the truth table of the combinational case but here it is named as the state table state table okay so in the state table the first section includes present state and input notations the first part of the state table includes present state representation and input whereas the second section represents the next state and output next state and output so in present state case here we have two flip flops therefore q2 of n and q1 of n their uh, respective uh, outputs and x is the input okay coming to next state next state notation is q2 of n plus 1 q1 of n plus 1 and output is y okay so suppose if the present state is 0 0 present state is 0 0 and x input also 0 present state is 0 0 x input also 0 okay as per the equations derived in previous case we can uh, say that q2 of n plus 1 is 0 q1 of n plus 1 is also 0 and y output is also 0 like that for every uh, uh, state for every present state what is the next state using the above equations we can derive so this is the state table we can call uh, for the for a sequential circuit 
okay so with the same zero zero present state suppose if x is 1 this is the expected output state and output value okay so like that a state table can be derived <coughs> after that the another way of representing the characteristics of uh, characteristic of sequential circuit is state diagram state uh, diagram okay so usually the state diagram uh, i mean the state diagram can be represented through uh, circle and uh, circles and a uh, an arrow uh, a directed arrow between those circles okay so each circle represents the state the circle represents the state whereas the directed arrow uh, uh, represented with input value and some cases uh, output value also okay that depends on the type of uh, sequential circuit that is the, the sequential circuit usually uh, two categories one is the melee sequential and another one is mure okay so in case of melee in case of melee uh, we have only just uh, uh, i mean uh, in melee case in melee case the directed arrow uh, represented both the input uh, slash output like this notation so with what input uh, with what input how the state uh, how the state will be changed from the present state to next state okay uh, with reference to uh, while changing while changing what is the expected uh, output so that information we can observe in the mule type of uh, uh, sequential circuit case whereas in mure in mure uh, in the directed arc we have only input value we have only input value to, to, to which input the, the direction or the movement will happen from one state to the another state and in the state itself the output value is represented suppose if the, the sequence circuit at circuit uh, will at state 2 what is the expected output in that state similarly if it is at state 1 what is the expected output so like that the state diagram uh, consists only uh, circles and directed uh, arcs okay so let us take one example uh, circuit mm -hmm. here is uh, one state diagram of a example circuit it includes four states it includes the four states because two outbit notation we have that's why four states you can consider 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay and in between these states the direct arcs are represented with input and output each arc represented with input and corresponding output so this is the example for melee type of a sequential circuit okay melee type of sequential circuit okay so for example suppose initially the circuit is in the state 0 0 okay with one input with one input its state is changed to 0 1 state with the which state is changed to 0 1 and the output value is 0 okay suppose from the same 0 0 state if the input is 0 if the input is 0 it maintains or it exists in the same state it exists in the same state and the output is 0 okay so like that from one state to another state with what input it will move to the another or uh, with what input it maintains the same state at the same time what is the expected output value also represented here okay so this is the example sequential circuit okay <coughs> and uh, from this uh, okay so of course this is the state diagram representation state table representation and state and uh, output equation state equation representation reference to sequential circuit in the next class we will see how to represent these states using bgp right